The COVID pandemic forced billions to stay home, shut down the global economy, and killed over 1 million Americans. So you'd think it would still be a big deal to voters in the midterms. But polling shows the issue falls way below others for voters not even in the top 10. Will pandemic policies make any difference in November? Let's take a look at the facts. As I'm sure you remember, health officials responding to COVID called for drastic measures. Shutdowns, vaccine mandates, and school closures became a major political fault line. Studies found those measures did save lives, but we're still feeling their effects today, from rising inflation to major learning loss by students. One poll found 56% of Americans now say they think President Biden has done an only fair or poor job responding to the pandemic. But most of the response to COVID was handled at the state level. As a result, blue states and Democratic leaders received criticism for shutdowns and vaccine mandates, while red state leaders who opposed them face blame for rising infection rates and death. As we move past the pandemic, the question is, will voters hold either side accountable for those choices? Let's take a look at Florida, where Governor Ron DeSantis was a staunch opponent of COVID restrictions as part of his so-called freedom agenda. But in terms of shutting down, we're not shutting down. Today in Florida, DeSantis and other GOP candidates who backed more lax COVID policies are all leading in the polls. Their opposition to lockdowns and vaccine mandates was a key part of their campaign earlier this year. Democrats, for their part, have largely avoided talking about their response to COVID altogether. A woman's right to choose on the ballot. Democracy on the ballot. While politicians' handling of the pandemic may not be a factor for voters now, its effects definitely are. Things like inflation and even rising crime are top concerns. President Biden and most Americans agree on one thing. It feels like the pandemic is over. COVID no longer controls our lives. But clearly its effects are still with us today and might be for the midterms too.